Hi, my name is Doyle Wofford. I'm a sales engineer with Freedom Communication Technologies. You may remember in a previous video, we demonstrated the R8100's ability to test a P25 radio in digital mode without using any of the tuner software provided by the manufacturer. In this short video, we're going we're gonna to take that one step further and we're going to actually perform a BER test, bit error rate. As you know, in order to, to perform a BER test, you have to put the radio in test mode. You have to tell, program the radio to transmit a digital test pattern to the service monitor. The service monitor then compares a known good test pattern to what is being received from the radio and calculate the bit error rate. Next, we'll program the service monitor to transmit a digital test pattern to the radio. The tuner software from the manufacturer will compare a known good test pattern to what's being received from the analyzer. We'll lower the output level of the analyzer until we get 5% BER rate. First, we're going to do a receive bit error rate test on the radio. The first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to put the R8100 in P25 test mode. As you know, to select any of the test modes, you just simply press the blue test button. From there, we'll select test modes. Then you'll get a list of the available test modes at the bottom of the screen. In this case, we're obviously going to select Project 25. We're now in P25 test mode. Next, we'll have to generate a signal with the R8100. So we're just going to press the blue generate button. Next, we're going to go to the RF zone and we're going to set the generate frequency to the programmed frequency on my tuner software. In this case, the frequency is 764 megahertz. Next, we'll set the output level to something a little bit more reasonable. Let's set it to minus 100 dB. The next thing we need to do is we need to go to the P25 zone we need to select a test pattern. As you see, as you can tell, the R8100 has the ability to generate all the test patterns defined by the P25 standard. In this case, we're going to use a standard 1011 Hz tone. Now, we're going to select modulation mode and turn it on to continuous. So the R8100 is now generating a continuous 1011 Hz test pattern. It's a, it's a known digital test pattern. So now I'm going to go to the tuner software and I'm going to make sure I have the test pattern selected that will match what I'm generating from the R8100. In this case, it's a framed 1011 Hz. Next, I'll press Start on the tuner software. The program is now comparing a known good 1011 Hz test pattern to what it's receiving from the service monitor and calculating the bit error rate. So obviously, at an RF level of minus 100, we're getting 0% bit error rate, 0% burr. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lower the output level of the R8100 until we get 5% burr. So I'll do that by opening up the output level. And then I'm going to use my tuning knob. And I'm going to dial the output level down until I can see 5% burr on my tuner software. I'm up to about 3%, 4%. There's approximately 5% at minus 118 dB. Therefore, I verified that the receiver on this radio is working properly in digital mode. Now that we've tested the receiver, we're going to do a transmit BER test for this radio. In this case, we're going to go to monitor mode on the R8100. So I'm going to press the monitor button. I'm going to set my monitor frequency for the transmit frequency of the radio. And again, in this case, the frequency is 764 megahertz. I've already got my attenuation set to 40 dB. I've already selected the RFN out port, so the unit is completely set up. Next, I need to go to the P25 zone. And again, I go to test patterns. And I select the 1011 hertz tone. Now I go to my tuner software. I select transmitter test pattern. I verify that the test pattern that I'm going to select is the 1011 Hertz. Then from there, I select PTT toggle. 
Now the radio is transmitting a 1011 hertz test pattern to the service monitor. And we can tell that the service monitor is decoding a NAC of 293. The mod fidelity is approximately 3%. I'm measuring symbol deviation and symbol rate error. Now to perform the BER test, I'm going to go to BER test on the service monitor. And I'm just going to hit start. And you can see on the service monitor that I'm I'm measuring a bit error rate of 0%. When you're performing the transmit BER test, obviously when the radio is transmitting at a level of approximately one watt, it's expected you would get 0% BER. To add validity to our test, to make sure that we're actually measuring BER, I can always go to the P25 zone. I can select a test pattern the calibration tone 5%. So this is my 1011 Hertz test pattern, but we're injecting a 5% error. And as you can see, the BER is now 5%. So we've just added validity to our transmit BER test. We appreciate you viewing this video. If you have any other questions, please feel free to visit our website. Our website is www.freedomcte.com or you can always contact me in person. My cell phone number is 602-721-5889. Thank you.